Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. We're in season two now, officially. Well, season one and a half, I guess. We have finished the draft uh, last episode, and we are heading towards opening day. Um, I do want to apologize, uh, just in case the last video was a little faint. I have uh, I had messed with my recording program to where I could record with a friend of mine uh, on Skype uh, for something else that I am doing. Uh, that uh, the vi the the audio the videos are posted here on my channel, but they're for one of our online leagues, so probably not of much interest to the majority of you. Um, but anyway, um, I came back and I've readjusted some of the settings, so. I hope the audio is coming in as good as I think it is. Um, again, I don't use any professional, you know, or upper end uh, programs or anything. I use a free program called OBS um, because it's free. <laughs> and uh, as I said, I just do this uh, for fun. So um, anyway, we did not really touch the free agent market this year. And let's see, we are in the middle of spring training. Um, you may have noticed I put a video up a um, couple of days ago, um, well, maybe about a week ago at the, at the point that this video comes up. But uh, uh, on the 7th, I put a video up about the scheduling bug. So let's take a look, and you'll notice if we go into Schedule, uh, here we have our spring training and opening day here uh, and then of course all the way through but you remember we were having issues in the minor leagues so if we now progress look multiple games and a whole season worth so all the minor leagues are slated with 137 games and that is all three levels double-a uh, triple-a and uh, single A. So they're all fixed and so we'll actually see some of our rookies how they're developing this year. Uh, so that is good news. Um, uh, so if you find that you're having an issue with your minor league scheduling uh, I did put up a, uh, a fix for that, how to, how to go about fixing that. Uh, and from what it seems uh, I play on the Steam version of the game uh, people that were playing on the retail or direct download version were not having this issue. So it may be something that has cropped up uh, in the transfer from uh, over to Steam. Uh, just a guess, uh, but I have no idea. I do know that uh, it has uh, been sent up the ladder to all the way to Marcus. So he'll take a look at it uh, when he comes back from vacation. And if there is a fix for it permanently, I'm sure he will include that in a Steam update at some point down the road. But anyway, let us get back into our ball game. So the owner has given us our current goals for this year. Uh, he wants to reach the playoffs. Uh, we have to upgrade right field this year. Increase team attendance from 22,500 all the way up almost to 31,000 people. I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> if they didn't come out last year uh, when we were actually in contention and made the playoffs, uh, we were six in total attendance. I don't know how we're going to improve. Um, oh, well, I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. I've got 29 people on my roster here. Uh, Jack Morris is evidently, you know, J it said that Jack was ready to move up, but I actually want to start him at single A. Um, let's see. All levels combined. Well, Basic pitching stats. I mean, didn't we already see that he had some stats, right? Maybe not. College? No. High school? Nothing? 
nothing. Okay, well, so be it. All right, so anyway, I do want him to start off at single A. Um, and we will probably start to filter out a lot of these guys um, at some point. Yeah, like right here, here's a 25-year-old guy. Yeah, uh, if he's still in single A at 25, he probably needs to get released. So we're just going to cut him. I'll try to do that between episodes just because, you know, it's probably not fun to watch that. Um, let's see. Well, let me go to a six-man rotation for spring. That gets uh, Al Fitzmorris in. We, uh, we ended up having a pretty good discussion on Dennis Leonard. I'm going to continue to call him Dutch just because. Uh, <laughs> just because I like that nickname. Uh, there actually was a Dutch Leonard. Um, there, there was a Dutch Leonard and a Dutch Leonard. L-E-N-N-A-R-T. Uh, and one of uh, the channel subscribers uh thanks for chiming in uh dutch leonard was actually a umpire uh and but dutch leonard i knew i had re remembered the name one of the ootp leagues that i used to be in was a historical league and uh i was managing the brooklyn dodgers and to quote the movie yes the dodgers used to play in brooklyn uh, as did the, uh, the Giants used to play in New York as well. Uh, but anyway, Dutch Leonard was a pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers back in the 30s uh, and 40 er 30s and 40s era. So I knew that uh, the name rang a bell. I did. I just assumed it was this guy. But I, I remember this this pitcher with Kansas City. So I have just taken it upon myself for the dynasty for the let's play here that. His nickname is Dutch, just for just for the heck of it. So play along with me here. <laughs> All right, let's go through and we're just going to up all of our pitching staffs. I did up the uh, the trade frequency a little bit. I, I, I upped it one level from average to high. Um, so we may get a little more trade action. And I just want to get all these set here. For the spring. And if we take a look. Oh, he was in single A. All right, so Jack Morris is now our number one pitcher in single A. Steve Trout is actually coming out of the bullpen, and he was our second round pick. Uh, I think he is going to be a starter. So what I want to do is I actually want to, and if you're not aware of how to do this, if you want to force a player to start, remember, just because you use the AI doesn't mean the computer is right. Uh, or it's going to do what you want it to do. So in this case, Steve Trout, I think, is going to be a better pitcher than these guys. So I want him to get plenty of playing time. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down and set game strategy. So you go into his card, available actions, set game strategy, and... On the pitchers, it's right here. On a hitter, it's over here. But it's force roll. So if you want him to be a starter, you if you have none, then the game will apply just like it did. But watch, if I want him to be a starting pitcher, and then I come back to that screen, and now I set the AI. Now it puts Steve Trout in at number one, because he is the only one that is set to be forced. And you can see he turns red right here on his position. That's an indicator that you, if you ever see that, it means that you have set that person to a specific uh, role. 
and I want to do that for Jack as well. And so if we do that and then go back, now we have two players, and it's going to now sort them based on ability. So Jack goes back to number one because the AI is saying he's better than Trout, but they're both one-two because they are designated to be starters, and it forces them into the lineup. Uh, so if you're trying, to, this is a really good technique to use if uh, you're trying to, say, get a player to learn a new position. So let's say that we were over here and we wanted, uh, well, he's he's already good. I'm just kind of looking for an example. Okay, right here. So Don Ruzek only plays shortstop. He's got good range, good air, good turn, double play, good arm. Odds are he could learn how to play second base or third base with these skills. So if I wanted him to try to force him to learn that position, then I could come in, set that game extension, and here you can see it moves on a position player to this side, and I can set him to any position, and if he's the only one forced there, then the AI will put him in there, and that gives you a better chance of him developing that position and also you don't have to come in and change the drop downs and, and manually make adjustments especially if you're moving these things around every sim or two so just something that may help somebody out um, all right we don't have any emails all right so let's go to the next week all right, single season record for runs scored in baseball. Billy Hamilton in 1894, Tom Brown, 1891, Babe Ruth, 1921, Tip O'Neill, 1887, and the only guy even remotely close to modern day, Lou Gehrig, 1936, the Iron Man himself. All right, we've got a trade proposal. So they want Dave Kripe, a 24-year-old third baseman in our minor league system. Doesn't look bad. He can play second or third. He's 24 years old, and he's in our AAA system. He hit 241 in 107 games. Only played in one last year because, remember, we only had two games scheduled. So, but he has shown some ability to hit. It's not enough to know if that 241 is an aberration or just the inability to perform at that level. Uh, he can play second and third. Well, I have Lee Lacey at second, George Brett at third, 27 and 22 respectively. So odds are I'm never going to play this guy. And they want to give me a 24-year-old second baseman. Well, I don't particularly like him. I do like that he can play multiple positions. 268. Hmm. I'm going to say no, um, because Kripe can play another position. And I think he's a little bit better. Uh, and, you know, I just don't view that as doing anything for me. Now, I mean, we could always discuss the trade. Now I can remove that. And... You know, I, I try not to be stupid in this because sometimes you can take advantage of the game. Hmm. He was a third round pick last year. about him 
Steve Dillard. All right, we'll make that deal. So, I mean, you know, I could try for one of these higher guys, but uh, Dale Murphy was a catcher. I did not know that. Uh, he played he played the outfield uh, when he came up to the minors, so I did not remember him being a, a, a backstop uh, in his younger years. Interesting. All right, so I'm getting, what's his name? Well... I don't remember. <laughs> Designated for assignment. No. Dillard, there he is. All right, well, that's cool. All right, let's move along. Keep on keeping on. Elbow tendonitis, two months, George Throop. Starting pitcher. I think I just called him up, so we will put him on the DL. 15 days. That doesn't really affect anything in here. All right. Bob Stinson got hurt two days. Elbow tendonitis. Lyman Bostock. Shoulder tendonitis. Four more days. Single season records. Best single season of whip. Walter Johnson, 0.78. Addy Joss, 0.806. Charlie Sweeney. Ed Walsh, Christy Mathewson, 0.828. What was the uh, what was the whip for um, Pedro Martinez? That that one. Re I mean, he had a lot of good years, but he had that one year with the Red Sox that he was just off the charts. Um, you know, he had like an ERA below one, like a 0.79 or something. Something ridiculous as a starter. Um, I, he had to have had a good whip that year. Um, and if any of you know what it is, stick it in the comments uh, below in the video. And uh, I'd be curious if he's not on this list uh, or where he actually ranks. But there was, and I, I don't remember what year. It was like early 2000s, I think. Might have been 98, 99, but that was probably too early. Um, but yeah, there was one year he had that was just out. You know, he was out of his mind. Uh, let's see. All right, let's go take a look at uh, spring training, spring coverage. Here we go. So eight and twelve, three games out. White Sox, who pushed us last year, six and fourteen. So we have uh, flip flopped here. Yankees down uh, in second place. Phillies two games back. Mets seven games back. Reds a game back. So looks like all the all the division winners from last year struggling a little bit this year. Uh, let's see, opening day. Let's go ahead and get to opening day. The trade proposal. Jamie Quirk. Now remember, he's also a catcher for us. I don't think he's bad. He's not great by any stretch. But he can play everything but second base in the infield. Not a great hitter. Uh, email pop-ups. Gotta love them. Mike Champion, second, third, and short. Yeah, he does nothing for me. I'm going to turn that one down. All right. 
right, so it looks like we ended up uh, four games out behind the Twins and the Rangers. White Sox went 9-21. and 21. Not a good spring for them. But, hey, we know the spring uh, records mean absolutely nothing when it comes to the uh, results for the current season. Let's see. The Yankees sent uh, Mike Cubbage in return for Wayne Garrett and Victor Cruz. Jerry Wright Royster been working out a little bit more. You have to remember here in the 70s, weight training was not common. Uh, certainly was not what it is today. Uh, I think this was about the time, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger was winning uh, the Mr. Ameri Mr. Olympia and Mr. Universe titles in this time frame. Uh, Lou Ferrigno uh, was portraying the Incredible Hulk on TV. And, you know, he was, uh, you know, like a big bodybuilder that Arnold had followed. Um, so weight training was just coming into its own here in the, in the mid to late 70s. Uh, it was not, you know, it was more common to find guys out drinking beers and using the spring to get into shape, uh, you know, rather than lifting weights. So that's, you know, kind of an unusual story. And, if you know, that means he was kind of on the leading edge of players that were doing off-season off training, uh, which is kind of neat to know. Um, personal message, reach the playoffs or we're going to fire you. All right, Juan Marichal, he must have retired. He is 38. He is not retired, but he is unsigned, and you can see he has really started to regress. He's down to a two, started to lose some stuff off his pitches, doesn't have the stamina anymore. Uh, you know, ERA has worked its way up, and, uh, yeah, only played in 11 games two years ago and two games last year. Uh, so... Definitely uh, has lost his stuff. I, I expect to see him re, uh, retiring. All right, top 100 list. Did we make anybody on here? No. Ricky Henderson, Wade Boggs, Pedro Guerrero, Jack Clark, Dale Murphy, Alan Trammell, Mitchell Page, Eddie Murray, Leon Durham, Ken Phelps, and... Let's see... League history, that's not what I want. Logs, no. Reports, minor league system rankings, here we go. So we rank 17th. Now this can't be updated because I guarantee, well, I don't know. Murray, Boggs, Boggs was just drafted this year. Trammell was just drafted. Ricky Henderson was just drafted. So yeah, they don't feel uh, they don't feel our uh, Jack is uh, one of our top guys. Now let's see, did he make art? Yeah, he's number four on our list here. Huh. Well, that's all right. All right, let's get back in, and we're gonna delete these. How are we looking on time here? About three minutes left. Um, we are at opening day, so why don't we go ahead and just do one game for opening day if we can. First thing I want to do is drop down to, or at least prep for it. And McDaniel, 40 years old, I'm going to go ahead and wave and designate. Hopefully somebody will pick him up, save us some money. Dennis uh, is going to be our number one this year. We've got the new closer. Bruce Suter starting to step into that setup role. Everybody's back at five since I have changed that. Alrighty, and position-wise, 
Alright, this is where I, I'm going to have to make some roster moves. So let's see. Mallory Otenzio. Gates, Gates, Stags. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shop Healy. Nothing. Alright. So we are going to wave and designate. And let me check. That's 26. So I've got one more player I've got to move down. Mayberry, Hortensio, Lacey, Staggs, Brett, Gates, Patek, McRae, Wolford, Mallory, Ron, okay, Fairley is starting for us. Mallory, Mallory. All right, which one of these guys looks better? Left and right. Left, right, center, and first. So I think Mallory can play more positions. So we're going to demote him to AAA. All right. That gets that done. All right. Now, I probably need to, let's see, we have 53 players in single A. I probably need to weed some out. Three, four, five, six. So what I'm going to do here between episodes is I'm going to go ahead and weed out some of these guys. Um, now, I'm not going to record this part, but look, if you want to see this kind of stuff, mention it in the comments, and then you know I'll, I'll be happy to record every piece, every piece. But sometimes, you know, we, you know, I know me and other people that do YouTube videos, we try to drop out some of the you know, what we consider to be boring minutia. Um, but, you know, baseball, because it's such a detail-oriented game, uh, if you want to see this, mention it in the comments. I'll be happy to add it back in. But I, for this one at least, I am going to record uh, off-air uh, or do it off-air. And uh, I'm going to cut a bunch of these guys. It looks like I've got a ton of relief pitchers that just need to be gone. Same thing with catchers. Um... So I'm just going to filter this out to where we can get a little more playing time for the guys that need it and are going to be able to contribute to uh, to our organization. So uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll start this off as uh, the 1976 season episode one is in the books, and we'll see you back in episode two for the current uh, 1976 season. Thanks for checking it out. We'll talk to you later.